Hi everybody, and welcome to Man Cave Cooking. This is Al, owner of the Man Cave, with my extra special silver dollar pancake pan. Now I'm taking about, oh, I'd say enough of this quarantine business, and I think it's time to make some flapjacks. But I only made a half batch. Now I'm taking canola oil, which is the perfect thing to lubricate your pan with. And I'm adding my extra special half batch of batter to make some of these fine silver dollar pancakes. I will post the recipe on it. Now you notice this pan is really hot. The way you test it is you flick some water on it and if it bounces it's ready to go. And you'll also notice that these pancakes are cooking up nice. I use some brown sugar. I use some regular flour. And you see there's air bubbles popping out. The air bubbles mean that the pancakes are almost ready to flip. When they get dry around the edges and the air bubbles come up, that means they are ready. And as you can see, I've already made a few here. And I am just enjoying making them and flipping them with my red spatula here. This pan doesn't heat evenly, but that doesn't matter because pancakes don't care. And when you take a whole bunch of maple syrup on them, they will taste delicious. Some people like to put butter on them and then put maple syrup on them and that's fine. And pancakes, as you can see, they take a lot of, uh, well, you can say abuse from me. If you've ever seen a one or two year old eat pancakes, they can take a lot of abuse. In any case, here you go. Man cave pancakes. Look at that. That is absolutely perfect. We're just taking them, flipping them, putting them on a plate. I will freeze most of these because if I eat that many pancakes, I will turn into something that looks like the Pillsbury Doughboy. And that I can't have happen. Not on my watch. In any case, I hope you're enjoying this. I will put the recipe in the comment section so that everybody can see my recipe and just enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. There we go.